Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about the Lauren Brook Cosmetics. We are going to be looking at their cream foundation. So I have been messing around with these foundation, this foundation for a few months now actually. And just going through the different samples they sent me, trying to find the right shade. And just a note, when you go on their website, uh, it's not that easy to select the shade that's going to work for you. Uh, they do have like a picture on their site and it has like all the different colors that you can get. And they have cool tone, neutral tones, and warm tones. And so they have little pictures for each one, but they're not like swatches and they're not, uh, they don't match up to what the foundation actually looks like when you get it. So I know the first time I tried it, I got a shade that was too orange and too dark for me, but on the website it looked like it might work, but that wasn't the case. So I have found that the cool number 10 is the closest shade for me so I'm going to go ahead and put this on on camera so you guys can see how it goes on and how it looks and just a note that these are a hundred percent natural vitamins minerals and pigments blended in a 97.5% certified organic botanical base. Uh, these have a SPF uh, that's rated about 28, so you get sun protection as well. And they have a few key ingredients, which are beeswax, and that hydrate is a hydrating ingredient that increases the skin's essential moisture. They have argon oil, which is rich in fatty acid. It protects your skin against pollution and sun exposure. They have silica, which creates a soft, finished look, reducing appearance of large pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. They have phytolipid complex, which is jojoba, rosehip, neum and vitamin E oil, and that's moisturizing, nourishing, and regenerative. It has green tea, which is for antioxidants, and it has zinc oxide, which is an anti-inflammatory, reduces and supports the healing of epidermal irritation, protects against UVA rays, and smooths the skin. And all of that was right here on my laptop, which you can't see. It recommends to use a blending sponge and I have the Real Technique one. I find this works perfectly for applying liquid foundation. I love this sponge. It was only about six or seven dollars when I picked it up at Ulta. And I'm also going to be trying this with the Wet n Wild, one of their new brushes. This one's a little dirty. Um, but this brush cost three dollars you can pick it up I got mine at Walgreens and I'm pretty sure you can also get them online so I'm going to go ahead and try it with this brush I'm not really sure how it's going to work but we shall see and you can also anything on their website you can get a sample of so that's nice but I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger Wipe it on my face. As I said, this is really thick. As it warms up to your skin, it gets a, it gets easier to put on. But initially, this is a really thick foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the brush and see if I like using that. And the mirror is over here in case I'm looking off screen. You guys can see this is the side that's not done 
and this is the side it is. And you can see how oily my face looks. Uh, this is one thing that I didn't like about this foundation. It really made your skin look kind of oily. Sometimes it looks natural. I like the natural look, but it can look really oily. So I tend to set this foundation. But uh, on the other side, I don't really like using the brush because it pulls the bristles. So I don't... I feel like I'm going to get streaks even though I'm not. So on the other side, I'm just going to go ahead and use a dry sponge. So this is what the foundation looks like on, and I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit closer so you guys can see. You can see it covers up pretty well. It doesn't really, on their website, they don't really have a, um, like it just says that it has incredible coverage. It doesn't say that it has full coverage or medium coverage. Um, for the most part, I think I would consider this a medium coverage. But as you can see, like on my forehead and right on my cheeks, it looks really oily to me. Um, and it, even when you let this foundation sit on your skin for a while before you do anything else, um, it doesn't dry down to like if you had powdered your face or anything like that or like some makeups they just don't feel tacky this makeup feels tacky and if you don't set it it will crease on your eyes under your eyes around your nose um so yeah i always i recommend setting this foundation with whatever powder you prefer so i'm going to go ahead and do that and I will be right back. So this is what it looks like once it's powdered. You can still see it's a little bit oily but it's not as bad as it was and it's not nearly as tacky. It's still a little tacky even if even though I put on quite a bit of powder. But we are going to go ahead and see how it looks when you put something on top of it like a blush. I'm going to grab a fairly pigmented blush just to find out, and a brush would help. Okay, so I just have the Hikari brush and bikini, and I'm just going to take a simple. That was just a application of blush probably the worst I have ever done uh, but as you can see it sits on the skin nice I actually prefer a more natural finish makeup versus matte as a lot of people seem to like but I prefer there just be a little bit of shine just because it seems really natural and my skin has never been matte, and I don't think I've ever seen anybody's skin look matte. But, uh, overall, you know, I like this foundation. I would definitely recommend you get a sample. I believe the samples are about $1.50. And like I said, they just come in a little pot like this. And you get enough for probably three or more uses depending on how much you use. Um, I would definitely recommend applying it with a sponge and not a brush. It goes on easier and just in general. And if you just take it and rub your finger in it and just dot it all over your face and just let the heat of your body warm it up some, it'll be easier to blend out and it won't. It'll just be easier to blend out if you just let it warm up to your body temperature. 
but um, I'm going to go ahead and run through the shades that I have really quick. I really like this foundation just so you know the full size is $27 uh, you can purchase it on their website which I will link down below I earn absolutely no money off of this so if you want to go and try it out I highly recommend you do just to find out if you like it uh, using a more natural foundation with less ingredients than the ones that you find in the drugstore um, but overall is not so bad I don't mind it um, now that it's set a little it's a little less tacky it does get a little less tacky but it's still not uh, the drier feeling that I prefer uh, but overall I recommend you go and try it out for yourself find out whether you like it you can always get a sample that way you don't have to spend the $27 the first time around and it's a great way to find out what your match is going to be uh, again, I will leave that link down below, so make sure you go and check that out. Also, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down there so you never miss any of our videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a wonderful day, and we will see you next time. Bye!